If you're anything like me, you're probably all about that cloud storage life, storing, accessing, and sharing files online. It's like our digital safe heaven, right? But let's be real. Not all cloud storage services are cut from the same cloth. Some are the cool kids on the block, while others, well, not so much. Now, I used to be all in with Google Drive, but let me tell you, the winds of change have swept through my digital world, and I am absolutely vibing with it. Want to know why? Well, you're in luck, because in this video, I'm throwing Google Drive and my newfound favorite, pCloud, into the ring. These two are like the heavyweights of cloud storage, and I'm here to spill the beans on how they stack up. We're diving deep into their interfaces, checking out their security game, exploring cloud space, because who doesn't love a bit of extra space, right? And we'll chat about how easy they are to use. Oh, and we can't forget the MVPs, customer support, and pricing. I'll break it all down and spill the tea on why I'm Team P Cloud and why it might just be the squad you need too. But hey, before we get into the nitty gritty, check out the special link in the description box below to enjoy a flat 65% off on your P Cloud journey. All right. Buckle up because we're about to embark on a cloud storage adventure. The first thing I want to compare is the user interface of Google Drive and pCloud. The user interface is how you interact with the service and how you navigate, upload, download, and manage your files. It's important that the interface is user-friendly, intuitive, and aesthetically pleasing. Google Drive has a simple and minimalist interface that is consistent with other Google products. It has a sidebar on the left that shows your folders, shared files, starred files, and trash. It has a toolbar on the top that lets you create, upload, and search files. And it has a main area that displays your files in a grid or list view. You can also switch between different views, such as My Drive, Computers, and Photos. pCloud has a similar interface, but with more options and features. It has a sidebar on the left that shows your folders, shared files, favorites, and trash. It also has a toolbar on the top that lets you create, upload, and search files. It has a main area that displays your files in a grid or list view. But unlike Google Drive, pCloud also lets you switch between different tabs, such as Files, Crypto, Backups, and Rewind. These tabs give you access to some of the unique features of pCloud, which I'll talk about later. I personally prefer the interface of pCloud over Google Drive because I think it's more functional, customizable, and attractive. I like that I can switch between different tabs and views and that I can access some of the advanced features of pCloud from the interface. What about you? Which interface do you prefer and why? Let me know in the comments below. The next thing I want to compare is the security of Google Drive and pCloud. Security is one of the most important aspects of cloud storage because you want to make sure that your files are safe and private. You don't want anyone to access, modify, or delete your files without your permission. You also don't want anyone to spy on your activities or collect your personal data. Google Drive uses server-side encryption to protect your files. This means that your files are encrypted on Google's servers, but not on your devices. Google holds the encryption keys, which means that they can decrypt your files if they want to or if they are compelled by law. Google also scans your files for viruses, spam, and illegal content. This means that Google can access and analyze your files and potentially share them with third parties. pCloud uses zero-knowledge encryption to protect your files. This means that your files are encrypted on your devices before they are uploaded to pCloud servers. pCloud does not hold the encryption keys, which means that they cannot decrypt your files, even if they want to or if they are compelled by law. pCloud also does not scan your files for anything, which means that they respect your privacy and do not collect or share your data. pCloud's zero-knowledge encryption is optional, and it comes with an extra cost. You can choose to encrypt some or all of your files with pCloud Crypto, a premium feature that costs different for annual and lifetime subscriptions. pCloud Crypto lets you create a secure folder on your account where you can store your sensitive or confidential files. Only you can access this folder with your password and no one else, not even pCloud, can see what's inside. I think that pCloud offers more security than Google Drive because it gives you more control over your files and your privacy. I like that I can encrypt my files with pCloud Crypto and that I can be sure that no one can access them without my consent. I also like that pCloud does not scan or analyze my files and that they do not collect or share my data with anyone. Now you decide, how important is security for you when choosing a cloud storage service? Do you trust Google with your files or do you prefer pCloud's zero-knowledge encryption? Tell me in the comments below. The third thing I want to compare is the cloud space of Google Drive and pCloud. Cloud space is the amount of storage capacity that you get from the service, both for free and for a fee. Cloud space is important because you want to have enough room to store all your files without running out of space or paying too much. 
Google Drive offers 15 GB of free cloud space, which may seem generous at first, but it's not enough for most users. That's because Google Drive shares its space with other Google services, such as Gmail and Google Photos. This means that your emails, attachments, and photos also count towards your cloud space, and they can quickly fill it up. If you want more space, you have to pay for a Google One subscription, which starts from $1.99 per month for 100 GB and goes up to $9.99 per month for 2 TB. PCloud offers 10 GB of free cloud space, which may seem less than Google Drive, but it's actually more than enough for most users. That's because PCloud does not share its space with any other service, and it only counts the files that you upload to PCloud. This means that your emails, attachments, and photos do not count towards your cloud space, and they do not affect it. If you want more space, you can pay for a PCloud Premium subscription, which costs $4.99 per month for 500 GB or $9.99 per month for 2 TB. Or you can get a PCloud Lifetime subscription, which gives you lifetime access to 500 GB or 2 TB of cloud space for a one-time payment of $199 or $399, respectively. I think that PCloud offers more cloud space for less money than Google Drive, and it also offers a better deal with its lifetime subscription. I like that I don't have to worry about sharing my space with other services and that I can get a lot of space for a reasonable price. I also like that I can pay once and forget about it instead of paying monthly or yearly fees. How much cloud space do you need and how much are you willing to pay for it? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The fourth thing I want to compare is the ease of use of Google Drive and PCloud. Ease of use is how easy and convenient it is to use the service, how fast and reliable it is, and how well it works with other apps and platforms. Ease of use is important because you want to have a smooth and hassle-free experience with your cloud storage service without any glitches, errors, or limitations. Google Drive is easy to use in some ways, but not in others. It is easy to use because it integrates well with other Google products, such as Gmail, Google Docs, Google Photos, and Google Workspace. It is also easy to use because it has a lot of online resources, such as tutorials, guides, and forums that can help you with any issues or questions. However, it is not easy to use because it has some drawbacks, such as slow upload and download speeds, frequent synchronization errors, and limited compatibility with some file formats and third-party apps. PCloud is easy to use in most ways, and it has some advantages over Google Drive. It is easy to use because it has a fast and reliable performance, with no upload or download limits, no file size restrictions, and no synchronization errors. It is also easy to use because it has some unique features, such as PCloud Rewind, which lets you restore your files to a previous version, up to 30 days in the past. PCloud Backups lets you back up your files from other cloud services, such as Dropbox, OneDrive, and Google Drive. Whereas pCloud Transfer lets you send large files to anyone, without requiring an account or registration making it more convenient and versatile. I think that pCloud is easier to use than Google Drive because it has better performance, more features, and fewer problems. I like that I can upload and download my files quickly and smoothly, and that I can use some of the cool features of pCloud to enhance my experience. I also like that I don't have to deal with any synchronization errors or compatibility issues with pCloud. How do you use your cloud storage service and what features do you look for in terms of ease of use? Do you prefer Google Drive's integration with other Google products or pCloud's unique features and performance? Let me know in the comments below. The fifth thing I want to compare is the customer support of Google Drive and pCloud. Google Drive has a large user base and a lot of online resources, but it also has a lot of unresolved issues and complaints. Google Drive has a help center, a community forum, a feedback form, and a chat and phone support option. However, many users report that they have difficulty reaching or getting a response from Google Drive's customer support agents. pCloud, on the other hand, has a smaller but more dedicated team of customer support agents who are available 24-7 and offer personalized assistance. pCloud has a help center, a blog, a contact form, and a chat and email support option. The customer support agents are attentive, professional, and always ready to swoop in and save the day. That means no more pulling your hair out over tech issues. The best part? You can hit up pCloud support crew anytime and bam, quick, courteous replies headed your way. None of that waiting around frustration or unresolved problems. It's like having your tech fairy godparents on speed dial. Now let's wrap this up. If you want to get all the scoop on pCloud, check the full pCloud review on my channel or click the link in the description box below. Give pCloud a try and sign up for a free account and snag yourself a massive 65% off on CloudSpace. Just click on the magical referral link in the description below. 
I hope you found the deets helpful and informative. If you did, do me a solid and smash that thumbs up button. If you got questions or thoughts on the topic, drop them in the comments. And hey, don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos like this. Catch you in the next one.